Everywhere you look, you find people who are burnt out, stressed, and exhausted. Of course, no one sets out to be unhappy or fatigued, but it remains a problem, a big one. There are lots of ways for people to overextend themselves. When a project is important and has potential or a lot of meaning, motivated people want to do their best work, so they work a lot. They don't even notice the late nights. People want to excel at their craft and earn enough to feel secure. And companies need to be profitable. So people figure that pushing to the limit is the way to achieve. But we're not machines. And even if we were, hard times can happen at any moment. Markets crash, crops die, and sickness can take us out of commission. Shit happens all the time in our world of uncertainty. But there's a concept in the book Great by Choice called 20 Mile Marching. It's about achieving consistent performance even in a chaotic world. The key thing is that it has both a lower and an upper limit. We need both the ambition to achieve and the self-control to hold back. It might sound unintuitive, but it's critical to our success. Let's say we've got two people hiking across the country. We've got Jane, who 20 mile marches, and we've got Joe, who does not. Jane marches 20 miles every day, rain or shine. No less, but no more. Some days it's easier to march 20 miles, and some days it's not, but every day, always, only 20 miles. In contrast, Joe decides to march 40 miles on his first day because he was full of energy. But on the second day, he's exhausted and wakes to find that it's very hot outside, so he hunkers down for better weather. He continues this behavior of overexertion on good days, followed by days where he marches very little or not at all. And when a powerful storm hits, it nearly kills him and he's forced to recover. By the time he stumbles past the halfway mark, Jane is nearing the end. Because the 20 mile marcher paced herself, she'll finish by a large margin. She had the strength to persevere the bad times because she hadn't spent all her energy and resources during the good times. Now a good 20 mile march is actually a range on a graph because you need both a lower bound, which is the hurdle that you rise to meet, and an upper bound which is the ceiling that you don't rise above. Not too little, and not too much. As you can see, it creates two forms of discomfort, high performance and difficult conditions, and holding back in good conditions. 20 mile marching builds confidence in our ability to perform well. This point of focus will help us navigate and achieve in a world that is largely uncertain and chaotic. It's also a way for us to define and measure what and how we achieve. It's about recognizing our limitations and being honest with ourselves about what will exhaust us and what won't. And it's about preparing for the worst. Each day should take effort to achieve. We need to push ourselves to greatness but not so much that we're left vulnerable. Work smart and rest well.